Welcome back to the Microbit Basics course. I'm Helen. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use Python to display data from your Microbit in real time using the Mu Editor. By the end of this video, you'll be able to use the Mu Editor to program the Microbit using Python and use the REPL plotter to display live data. Are you ready? Before we start, you'll need to install the Mu Editor by going to this link. Once you have it installed, open up the Mu Editor and choose the BBC Microbit mode. Click on the Mode button in the top left hand corner and select BBC Microbit. Once you've done this, enter the following code. To upload code to your microbit, connect it using the USB cable and send this snippet of code to your microbit using the flash button. Note, the flash buttons will be disabled if you have the REPL or plotter buttons activated. So, what is this REPL? It's a super cool feature that allows you to interact with your microbit in real time. By using a Python command line, you can type text commands that run immediately on your microbit. REPL stands for Read, Evaluate, Print, Loop. Let's try it out. Press the REPL button in Mu. Restart your microbit by pressing the reset button on the back. You should now see three sets of numbers scrolling up the screen. These are the readings from the accelerometer. If you wiggle your microbit about, you should see them changing. The numbers are flashing by so quickly that it's hard to get a sense of what they mean. You can make them much easier to understand by plotting them on a graph. Press the plotter button in Mu and you'll see the sensor readings plotted in real time. If you press the REPL button again, you can make the graph much bigger and easier to see. If you get a message that the plotter is receiving too much information, increase the sleep time to sleep 100 to reduce the information received. Now that your code is working and your plotter is showing data, experiment by shaking your microbit to see the values changing in the graph. Can you work out which value corresponds to which axis? You may find it useful to be able to log data remotely without a USB cable. For example, you can attach a microbit to a toy vehicle and watch it accelerate in real time as it goes down a slope. This works great as part of an experiment in your science or computing class. You can use two microbits and the radio function to do this. One microbit will act as the sensor, sending data wirelessly, powered by a battery pack. Your second microbit will receive the data and send it through a USB cable to Mu on your computer. To do this, we need two bits of code. For the sensor microbit, we need to activate the radio and send the accelerometer data. Flash this Python program to your sensor microbit. Unplug your microbit from your computer and attach a battery pack. Your sensor microbit is now sending out three accelerometer readings on the X, Y, and Z axis every 60 milliseconds. It's sending this data out as a string of characters, so all we need now is a way of receiving this data. Plug your second microbit into your computer with a USB cable. For the receiver microbit, we'll need to activate the radio, listen for the accelerometer data, and print the information to our screen. Flash the following Python program to your microbit. As before, click on the REPL button in Mu and restart the microbit by pressing the reset button on the back. 
Press the plotter button in Mu, and you should see live accelerometer readings from the remote sensor micro bit. So what can you do with this? Being able to plot or read accelerometer data forms the basis for many science and computing lessons. What would you do with it? You can study any captured data at a later date. Mu saves your data as a CSV, or Comma Separated Values file, which you can open in any spreadsheet program. If you highlight the data in a spreadsheet, you can plot it as a line graph to make it easier to interpret. You can find your CSV files in your computer's home folder. Look in Mu Code and then the Data Capture folders. To take this further, you can try taking readings from the other inbuilt sensors, such as the magnetometer or the temperature sensor. You can even add in external sensors, for example, to measure light or sound. Here's an example. You can plot how strong the magnetic fields surrounding your microbit are using this Python program and the Mu plotter. This syntax might look a little odd, but this is because the Mu plotter only works with tuples, which are values grouped together. So we have to put the trailing comma after the reading from the compass. Flash this program to a micro bit, open the REPL and the plotter, restart the micro bit, and see what happens when you bring different metal objects or magnets close to your micro bit. For more experiments with data logging in Mu, take a look at this excellent guide from Microbit, which some of the experiments in this video were based on. Congratulations! You're at the end of this video course and at the start of a fascinating journey into digital creativity. So, get creative, get connected, get coding, and good luck!